LIFO stands for last in first out. So whatever you do it for FIFO, same thing we'll do it for LIFO. They have purchased 500 at rupees 5, it will be 2500. Opening stock 100 kgs at rupees 5 per kg. Hello everyone, this is your other sir, lecturing with Yashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the session 9 of your topic called Cost Accounting. And our Cost Accounting, we are discussing the chapter called Material. Now, in the Material, as we discussed, like we completed your stock levels, then we completed your EVO Q problems, then we discussed about your ABC analysis. As I told you, we will work out problems on ABC analysis in the coming sessions. Now, we have discussed your FIFO method in the previous two or three sessions. Now, in today's session, we will discuss about your LIFO method. We will do only one problem, but you will understand better what is LIFO. So, what is the agenda for the day? The agenda for the day is, it is very simple. The concept as well as problems on LIFO. Now, we will understand what is LIFO. Later, we will do problems on LIFO. Now, so what do you mean by LIFO? LIFO stands for last in, first out. Now, I gave you example for LIFO, your electronic gadgets like in the electronic gadget, the latest one we always prefer. Like, if there is a mobile, in case of mobile, if you have 3G, then you have 4G and you have 5G. Now, will you go for 3, 4 or 5? Even though the 3G is available at least price, but always you go for 5G. Why? Because you always expect the updated version. Similarly, last in, last in means what recently came to market, recently, compared to your 3G, 4G and 5G. So this is, this came on January, this is on February, this came on March. Example I am giving now, Jan, Feb, March, out of this, will you go for this, this or this? This is the last in, Le last came to market is 5G. But first we will go for 5G. The reason is very simple. The reason is, it is a electronic gadgets. We always go for updated one. So in your electronic gadgets, adults will go for your TV. In case of TV, earlier we had normal TVs. Now we have smart TVs. Now, if you want to purchase a TV, will you go for normal or will you go for smart TV? Obviously, you will go for smart TV. Why? Because it has more features. Similarly, all the electronic gadgets, we go for LIFO method. Last in, first of all, hope you understood what is LIFO method. In the problem, how do we implement this? How do we implement means now? In this, the last or recent one you have purchased or you have received, you will sell it first. So in this, in the FIFO method, we used to open first box. Like there are two boxes are there. This box bought on January, this box bought on February. If issue or sales comes, you used to do sell this one, later you sell this one. But now in LIFO method, first we will go for this, later we will go for first box. Hope you understood. This is called as your LIFO method. Now, so this is your problem number three. From the following details, prepare a store ledger account on last in first out method. Now, in this, September 1st, 5th, 20th, 15th, 25th, 1st November, 15th November, as well as 25th November. In this opening stock, we have purchases issued, again issued, 
purchases issued issued and finally we have purchases so if there is a purchases is no issue so whatever you do it for fifo same thing we'll do it for lifo when the lifo effect when the lifo effect means only in case of issue in case of issue the lifo effect will come but in case of opening as well as purchases FIFO or LIFO, it doesn't matter. The same procedure we will follow. Now, so we don't have solution for this. We will work out solution. I suggest you also in a book, make a pause the video, prepare a columns, then along with me, you also solve the problem. So this is your format for LIFO. The same format what we get for FIFO, the same thing we will use for your LIFO also. So your format, LIFO method, store ledger account, name of the material, bin number, code number, your credit set or your right set, we write your maximum level, minimum level as well as ordering level. Now, below this, we will write in this, your receipt issue as well as balance. I'll go out of the screen, take a screenshot and write down in your book. Now, so all problem, it talks about 2008. So we will write 2008 in your year column. So we will make it 2008. Now, so now we are doing 2008 in this. Your first entry is opening stock of 100 kg at rupees 5 rupee per kg. As I told you, for opening and purchases, no changes. Whatever you are doing for FIFO, same thing we will do. Now, opening stock 100 kgs at rupees 5 per kg. Now, in this, your date is what? September 1st. September 1st. Opening always comes with your balance column. Now, 100 into 5. Quantity 100, rate 5, it is 500. Any doubt in this? No doubt. Now, we done with your opening balance. Now, I'll go back to your second one. Purchased rupees 500 at rupees 6 per kg when it was purchased September 5th. September 5th. So how many units? 500 at rupees 6 per kg. So it is quantity 500, rate 6, answer value is 3000. 500 into 6, it is 3000. Now, this is done. Now, what is your balance? Balance will write as it is. 100 multiplied with 5, your opening, copy, paste. And whatever you have purchased, like 500 multiplied with 6, it is 3000. As it is what we were doing in the FIFO, same thing we will follow in the LIFO also. Now, we're done with this. We'll go for the next one. Next one is September 20th issued. Now LIFO applies. Now, September 20th issued. 300 kgs. Now, September 20th, September 20th. So, number of units, how much? We need 300 units. Now, in case of FIFO, we go for first, then we go for second. In case of LIFO, we go for second one directly. How many units we need? 300. Now, issued. Quantity it is 300. What is the price? 6 rupee. The answer is 1800. Clear? Yes. Now you have to write on the balance. How to write the first box? Write as it is. Why? Because you have not used. Then second box out of 500. Out of 500, how much you have used? 200. So Balance will be 300 multiplied with 6, it will be 1800. Clear? 
300 into 6, 1800. Now, we'll close this. Out of 5, we have used 3 means, sorry. It will be 200 into 6, 1200. What is the balance? We should write balance. It will be 1200. So, this is all about your issue. Now, we'll go for the next one. So, again issued 200 units. We'll go for that. What is the date? Date is October 15th. October 15th. So, we have two boxes. In the first box, we have 100. In the second box, we have 200. Now, we'll go for 200. Now, in this, the 200, what is the value? The value is 6 rupee. It is 1200. What is the answer? We'll copy paste. 100 will remain as it is. The 200 will change. The 200 will change. Why? Because out of 200, you have used 200. Is there anything left? No, it is 0. Now, what is your answer? 100 into 5, it is 500. The closing is 100. Each unit costs you 5 rupees. Here it is a kg. 5 rupees per kg. Your final answer will come under 500. Any doubt? Hope there is no doubt. Next. After October 15th, we have October 25th. In this, they have purchased 500 at rupees 5 rupees. So, next will be October 25th. October 25th, they have purchased 500 at rupees 5. It will be 2000. 500. What is the old balance? We have 100. 100 into 5, it is 500. What is the new balance? It is 500. Multiplied with 5, it will be 2500. Any doubt up to this? Hopefully, there is no doubt. So, we done up to this. That is October 25th. Next, we'll go for further October 25th over, now we have three more to go. November 1st, November 15th and November 25th. Now, November 1st, we have issued 300 kgs. I'll go back. November 15th. Yes, now in this, I'll made it 2008. Now, November 15th. So, how many units issued? They have issued 300 units. Now, I'll go back to next. You have how many boxes? Two boxes. Which box we should use? Which method we are doing? LIFO method. We should go for second box, last box. If there are three boxes, go for third box. If there are four boxes, go for fourth box. Hope you understood. Now, 500 we have, we go for 500. Now, in this, out of 500, how much we need? We need only 300. I'll go back. In your question, they're asking how much? 300. Now, 300 at the price of 5. Now, in this, in the issue column, 300, value is 5. Answer is 1000. 500. What is the balance? Balance is out of 500, you have used 300. What is the left out? 200. This 100, we did not touch only. So, it will be 100 into 5 and 200 into 5. This will be 100 into 5, 500. 200 into 5, it is around 1000. Clear? Now see, this price also 5 rupee, this price also 5. If you want, you can club. Why? Because the price is same. Or else you can do it separately. Anything is fine. If the price are similar, you can club that. If the price are not similar, then you should go individually one by one. Now, 
In this, you got 300 and 5 rupee each. It will be 1000 as well as 500. Now, this is done. Again, I'll go back. In this, you have November 15th issued 250. How to do? Now, November 15th, November 15th issued 250. First, you go for last one, 200. So it will be 200 into 5, it will be 1000. How much you needed? 250. How much you took? 200. Still, how much more you need? 50. That 50 you can take from box number 1. In this, 50 and 5, it will be 250. Clear? So we got 250. Now we'll write the balance. 200 you have used completely. Out of 100, you have used only how much? 50 you have used. Still, what is the remaining? 50. So it will be 50 and 5. The answer is 250. Any doubt? Hopefully, there is no doubt. So what is your balance? 50 and 5. The answer is 250. I'll go back to your question. Last one, November 25th, they have purchased 200 at 4P. November 25th. November 25th, 200 at the price of 4, it will be how much? 800. What is your balance? Old one, copy paste. And the new one, it is 200 into 4, it is 800. Now, what is your answer? Your answer is 50 into 5, it is 250, and 200 into 4, it is 800. Your final answer will add only number of units. Number of units, it is 250. Total value, it is 1050. We will not add the price. Remember, we will not add the price. Number of units, 250, and number of uh, value of unit is 1000. 50. This is all about your LIFO method. Hope you understood the easiest one. Whatever we did for FIFO, same thing we will do for LIFO also. Now, I'll go back so that you can check. So, this is your question. The solution part 1, solution part 2. Now, so this is all about your today's session. You understood what is LIFO and how do we calculate LIFO? Everything you understood in today's session. In the next session, we will work out more problems, the method with adjustments so that we can wind up with this particular topic. Thank you.